Now three jaw chucks come uh, made two different ways. This type of chuck here requires two sets of jaws if you want to reverse the jaws. This other chuck, which is similar to the one that I had over there on the closing, has uh, jaws that are uh, reversible, but they're really jaw caps. And if you loosen these uh, cap screws here, the entire jaw can be reversed, reversing it like like this. Now you say, why would you want to do that? Well, sometimes if you have a large piece of work like this little wheel here, it's about five inches in diameter, it would be better to reverse the jaws and catch it uh, right here. Otherwise, you have to extend the jaws so far out that they may fly out or certainly they're a hazard to your knuckles or uh, the other tools you're using around the lathe. So that's why you want to reverse them. Now, it, and that takes quite a while to do, so a fellow tends to avoid it if he can, but that's why I have several chucks here so I don't have to do that. But I, I will show you in the next segment how to uh, reverse the jaws on a chuck like this. And of course, you have to have the uh, reversible jaws and these are not interchangeable they must be the ones that match this chuck and usually they have a serial number on them that matches the chuck and they have to be the same manufacturer as well and these chuck jaws are numbered one two and three and they uh, you're going to see numbers here also there's the number two and there's three and the other one is one so when you uh, install those in there they they must be uh, in the correct slot. Alright, here I am over at my little uh, Craftsman Atlas lathe and when you want to reverse the jaws, or should I say install the reversing jaws, um, you have to take out the other jaws and I built this speed wrench uh, a long time ago which uh, just speeds it up to, as you can crank it out. I also even had a little setup where I, I could uh, have a chuck key mounted in uh, my DeWalt drill and, and back them out real quickly and and uh, I'm going to stop for just a moment and take those out and uh, they will come out in order uh, uh, three two one and then when you reinstall them you have to install them one two three and the reason you do that is as you reinstall them it's necessary that as the scroll comes around you catch the end of the scroll in the way the scroll is kind of like a thread but there's an end on there and those have to be caught in order and if you don't catch them as the scroll end comes around one two three the chuck jaws may not come together at the same time you might have one that's off or all three might be off and they won't come to the center at the same time all right i've backed the scroll all the way out and we got number three that came out and number two is coming out and number three uh, is coming out. Now you might want to uh, take an air gun and blow that out because if you got chips and uh, crud in there on that scroll uh, they, they do jam and you want everything clean you don't want any rust and uh, then put them back together and put a, just a drop or two of oil on them and if you got too much oil on there when you turn the lathe on you'll be wearing a, a line of oil up your left uh, shoulder it's very hard to your wife won't like that when she has to wash them now I'm trying to, to film here with one hand and work with the other but uh, now as you go to uh, reinstall the chuck jaws uh, I'm going to see if this shows up here I'm bringing the scroll around can you see the beginning of the scroll moving there so you would catch number one in there push jaw one in there and catch it on that and then as that comes around to the next one, then you'd put draw two in there. There you can see it. And so on. Cleanliness is very important. Also notice I got a board here on the bed of the lathe. I don't like any nicks or damage to the, uh, the lathe, even though some of these lathes already have a lot of damage to them. No sense making it any worse. I'm not going to reinstall those. Uh, I think I've made it fairly. Back at the closing now. Now this uh, chuck is very dirty inside and one of my next jobs is going to be to take it apart and when you take your uh, to clean it. Now when you do that and that's not a real easy job but uh, the first thing you want to do 
And this can be done on the bench or on the lathe, and I think I'm going to do it uh, probably on the bench. But you'll see here two little uh, center punch marks or witness marks. Be sure and mark those because the chuck is going to come apart uh, right there. And uh, you want to make sure you put it back exactly the same. I took this uh, real little three-jaw chuck apart, uh, which actually is something I'm going to scrap out, but I took it apart to, to show you how uh, how they're built. This is a real old one. It's got a lot of damage to it, but uh, flipping it over now, you can see where the scroll goes, and make sure you clean this up real good and just use a little grease on it, and we're going to drop the uh, scroll into place, and then on the other half here, We've got the gear, little, it's like a little bevel gear, and on the end of that is where the chuck key uh, rides on it. Now on some of the bigger chucks you're going to have three of these, one, two, and three, but on this one we only have one. And then uh, we'll be sure and wipe everything off, make sure there's no chips or nicks, if there's any nicks or high spots, knock them off with a file, and then you're ready to uh, reassemble this and be sure and reassemble it according to those witness marks that you center punch on there that I just told you about. And uh, uh, some chucks probably uh, aren't going to go together any other way than, than the correct way, but uh, I need two hands to do this and I don't have two available, so that would go together and then there's three bolts back there, a cap screw that need to be tightened. And then uh, you can go ahead and put the jaws in like I just showed you over on the Atlas lathe. And uh, this chuck doesn't have a backing plate on it. And that's one of the reasons I'm getting rid of it. But uh, backing plates have the correct thread for your lathe. You can buy new ones if you need to. Sometimes you've got the machine in them. This ran a little bit long for me. I have to divide it into two parts. I hope this was helpful. A uh, little dissertation on uh, three jaw universal scroll chucks. This is Tubal Kane saying so long for now.